The AR drone is one of the easiest multi-copters to fly. Powered by a CPU found in most smartphones while running Linux with ultrasonic sensors and cameras, it's got a lot of intelligence built in. With the Mirror Mod installed, it's much easier to control compared to the touchscreen of a smartphone. It can also extend the range significantly depending on the radio used. With your hands completely off the transmitter, you don't have to worry about letting go of the controls to scratch your nose. Here you can see the transmitter is not touched and it continues to hover without even any user input. The AR drone is probably the only quadcopter I would trust with a beginner. This is the very first time he's ever flown a quadcopter of any kind and he's able to slowly get used to flying it in three dimensions. The radio transmitter makes it more maneuverable thanks to the mirror mod. He holds the transmitter like an Xbox controller, a position he's only capable of because of his smaller hands. When he lets off the controls, the drone just evens itself out and hovers on its own. The AR drone is constantly trying to correct all the mistakes that is thrown at it when controlled by an inexperienced pilot. With the dial down controls and using the indoor hull, the drone is slow and docile. The drone has sensors to keep it in one place and limit its altitude. It will auto land when the battery is low and prevent you from flying it below a certain voltage. It thinks for you when you don't even know what to do as a beginner. For someone who has never flown a quadcopter, it keeps you focused on getting used to flying. Is this your first time flying a quadcopter? Yes. Is it easy to fly? Yes. Staying in the air longer without crashing gives a beginner a sense of accomplishment and doesn't discourage them. The AR drone isn't an inexpensive toy and sometimes people question why you would buy one and then mod it. Why not just buy a real quad from the start? The truth is a lot of the hobby grade quads are hard to fly. Not hard. even the toy grade ones are as easy to fly as they seem. They're made to be durable and you learn by crashing. Time and time again when I hand the AR drone to someone who has never flown one before, they do pretty well other than flying them to a tree or a wall because they don't have depth perception, but that's another problem on its own. After flying many other multi-copters for a while and coming back to the AR drone, I forgot how easy it was. The AR drone was my very first quad and it gave me a taste of quadcopters five years ago. It still amazes me today how simple it is to fly it. I haven't sold the AR drone yet for one reason. As I get older, a new generation is starting to learn to fly multi-copters and the AR drone is still working to teach them. Good enough. He's got to work on that landing, but not bad for a beginner.